from 2013 to 2017, Keith one-time Thurman had the welterweight division in the palm of his hand with brutal knockouts. A left hand and Charlie steps in, the fight is over! Keith one-time Thurman remains unbeaten! After an electrifying win over Mario Barrios, Keith Thurman is ready to take on the best in the welterweight division once again. You hit here with eight ounce gloves? Oh, they're gonna do a pretty little dance. On July 21st, 2012, Keith Thurman made his debut on HBO Boxing After Dark, taking on late replacement Orlando Laura after the Marcos Maidana fight fell through. Laura was an ultra-skilled journeyman with a solid chin, but that did nothing as Thurman landed accurate hard shots on Laura from the onset. Staggered by a left hook momentarily there. That you're gonna see some kind of fight defense. He's getting ripped. Vicious right hook to the body. Right hand over the top, partially blocked. That's why Laura held his hand down. <laughs> Halfway through the sixth round, Thurman tagged Laura with a thudding left hook that wobbled his leg, followed by a straight right that knocked Laura down, issuing the ref to stop the fight. That's what Laura's gonna look like when he goes. Well, maybe not. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Orlando Laura has had enough. He made that clear, walking to his corner and talking to his trainer while listening to the count. He was done. Keith Thurman has a sixth round knockout victory. What are you looking for next? I'm looking for anybody. I'm young, I'm hungry. I'm the new thing in the Walter Wade division. We had to sit out for a year so y'all didn't get to hear me, but you see the thunder that I'm bringing into the ring. I'm ready for a belt. When all is said and done, one of these undefeated fighters, Zero, will morph into a one as we get set for action in the welterweight division. Keith Thurman, known as one time because he says all it takes is one punch from either hand to turn the lights out. On July 27, 2013, Thurman fought Diego Chavez in a battle between two surging undefeated contenders. Thurman had a reputation for being a KO artist, knocking out 19 of his last 21 opponents. The war broke out early as the two power punchers stood toe to toe from the opening bell. So I don't know if it was enough to hurt Thurman, but we'll see. Thurman versus Chavez. Diego Chavez is not some mate. Chavez landed his share of shots, including a right hand in the third, which busted Thurman's nose. Under two minutes left in the third round, and Chavez won't even the speed is up the power right now. The constant onslaught of combinations took its toll on Chavez in the ninth round, forcing him to drop to one knee with a left hook to the ribs. Oh, body shot there, body, body shot. Thurman and it drops Chavez to one knee. Chavez made it out of the ninth round, only to get floored once more in the tenth round, ending the fight with a vicious combination. Chavez along the ropes. And Chavez is again down on the canvas for the second time in the fight, the fourth time in his career. And this fight is over. Keith Thurman stops Diego Chavez. Looking forward to 2015, but it's one time, every time. KOs for life. Yeah. Don't blink. Keith Thurman fought 40-10-1 Julio Diaz on April 26, 2014. Diaz came off two close decisions over Sean Porter and Amir Khan. And it's all over in 40 seconds, Amir Khan! Keith Thurman with the moniker one time in the year 2013 that he isn't a one-trick pony. From the opening round, it was a lopsided fight, with Thurman pummeling Diaz with murderous intent, showcasing his fierce speed, ability, and fantastic footwork. And the red with gold were scheduled for 12 or less. Off back to follow after what we witnessed. Oh, I'm excited to see that. Good, excellent wait, but again, oh! 
Cut-jacking the John of Diaz. What makes him dangerous? You know, how could you train for a guy like this? Diaz was on his way out when Keith Thurman threw a chopping right hand to the body, breaking Diaz's ribs in the third round, ending the fight by corner stoppage. When he's smiling. Oh, right hook, the right hand. Julio Diaz is gay. He's been down in his career as he takes a left hook to the head. Final seconds brings out the best of these Warriors, Keith Thurman. And Keith, one time. You know, I'm here to entertain the world of boxing. I'm here to dominate the welterweight division. You know, I love the sport of boxing. I love knockouts, and I'm gonna continue giving you knockouts one fight at a time. On December 14, 2013, Keith Thurman took on a battle-tested Jesus Soto Caras on the undercard of Adrian Broner versus Marcos Maidana. Soto Caras came off a stunning victory over former champion Andre Berto. And there goes Berto down. From the opening bell, Soto stunned Thurman with a big overhand right. The fight smaller, and so that, oh, he get hit with things like that uppercut. But they know. Trainer of the year in 2004, and oh, down between the undefeated Keith Thurman who attacks Soto oh. Kana's body and lands a right hand, and Soto Kana staggers backwards in the dying stages of round one. And Soto Kana's trying to throw it, but he's supposed to do it. He's surprised. Still, Thurman's extraordinary mix of speed, power, athleticism, and ring IQ allowed him to take over the fight in the fifth round knocking Soto Caras down with a left-right combination. Thurman teeing off on the head of Soto Caras, and down goes Soto Caras! Wow! In round nine, the fight was over when Thurman delivered a nasty combination that drove Soto to the mat, stopping him. Yeah, attack with that right! He's been jab again as he remains on his bicycle, using that lateral movement. Soto Caras unable to cut off the ring, and he eats a right hand! with another fantastic performance here in San Antonio. This was a very tough guy you fought tonight. You hit him with everything but the ring post, finally able to close the deal. You know, there's a lot of tough guys out there, but one time represents that knockout all the time, baby. You see what I do, you know. They can take it for a few rounds, but they ain't gonna take it for 12 rounds. On June 25th, 2016, one time fought Showtime Sean Porter in the first primetime boxing event on CBS. Sean Porter was a rugged warrior, beating the likes of Danny Garcia, Andre Berto, and Devin Alexander. It has been nearly 40 years since boxing has been seen here on primetime CBS. Can't think of a better fight to bring the sweet science back to the masses. The bell and round one, the undefeated Keith Thurman, the champion in red, white, and blue, the once defeated former champion Sean Porter in black, red, and yellow. The fight was a brutal war between two of the best fighters at the time. Porter was unrelenting, giving Thurman all he could handle. Yes, Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao. Porter is a deceptively good defensive fighter. Well, Sean Porter. Oh has been good in this fight. Thurman rocked Porter badly on multiple occasions in the fight. Happy exchange on Porter's knee buckled after that left. Lightning and Barclays in the hold of Thurman intelligently. He's able to box going backwards. All those shots were going backwards. Right cross, but a couple sharp ones. Mm -hmm. Counter left hand by Thurman. At the same time, the 28-year-old challenger constantly implemented his short inside game, closing distance and occasionally smothering and battering Thurman to the ropes. Porter now swarming him. Porter, good defense. In this type of matchup, Keith Thurman cut for the first time in his career. Bombs away as well. No, we don't Looks like a bad cut. Very debilitating. Oh.
for the judges when they, oh, as they should be, the crowd in Barclays on their feet. A few weeks ago, Francisco Vargas, Orlando Salido. And ironically, it's Thurman coming forward, not... Both fighters showed remarkable resilience going all 12 rounds in the fight after the year's honors. On CBS!